Hey guys, what's up? Time to review Justice League number seven. Now this is the start of a new story arc, or more so the planting of ideas for a new story arc. Uh, this takes starts with the uh, Justice League fighting a new bad guy and taking it to him and beating him, and then goes in to deal with uh, much more relationship issues that uh, the past few uh, issues really haven't dealt with too much. It deals with the uh, Trevor and Wonder Woman. Uh, Batman and Green Lantern, Justice League, and the public, and then uh, one that was interesting was Trevor and uh, Congress. It's angles we've seen before, but I think it's really cool to see this in the new Justice League. Uh, overall, I did really like this, even though there are parts of this issue that were some dialogue was a little corny, and some of the uh, some parts of it almost felt like it was a filler issue, which I guess kind of it is, but. I, I did like it overall. I would say it's a 7.5 out of 10. It's a good issue if you've been liking Ju uh, Justice League. You'll t continue to like this one. But if you haven't really liked Justice League, this won't really change your mind, I don't think. Uh, the backup issue is really cool, too. It's a backup issue all about Shazam, which I believe is Shazam's first, well, kind of first appearance in New 52. And I thought it was a really cool uh, backup story. And I, I gotta say, I love the new... Uh, Shazam look. I think it's a really cool redesign. Overall, not a ton to say about this book. Cause not uh, a lot happens, but not a lot of really important stuff happens. I think it's a cool issue. It's a neat little entry, and it does add something to the uh, Justice League world right now. Uh, like I said, 7.5 out of 10. Tell me what you think of it. Leave a comment. Leave a review. Uh, see you guys in another review.